Solving an equation that involves decimals, lesson 7.2b. To solve an equation with the variable on both sides that involves decimals is similar to solving an equation with fractions. But instead of first multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common multiple, LCM, we multiply by a power of 10 to remove the decimal points, then work with whole numbers. So here we have an equation. 3 and 4 tenths x plus 5 is equal to 3 and 9 tenths x plus 3. We want to remove these decimal points, turn these into whole numbers. So since this is tenths, we can multiply by 10. That's our power of 10. We're going to do 10. We distribute the 10 to the 3.4 and to the 5. We distribute it to the 3.9 and the 3. We end up with 34x plus 50 is equal to 39x plus 30. Now we have whole numbers. We can just subtract the 30 from both sides. We subtract it from the 50 and from this 30. That's going to create a zero pair here, isn't it? We've eliminated that. And here, we have 34x plus 20 is equal to 39. Now we subtract the 34x from both sides. That's going to create a zero pair here and eliminate it. Now we're left with 20 is equal to 39x minus this 34x is a 5x. 20 is equal to 5x. We divide both sides by this coefficient 5 because our goal is to get this x isolated to one side of the equal sign. Now 5 over 5 is a 1. We have 1x. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So let's go through a word problem and do this again. So we have Bob and Sam. Bob walks from his house to the library at a constant rate. After walking 84 hundredths mile, he meets his friend Sam, and they continue walking at the same constant rate. When they arrive at the library, Bob has walked for seven-tenths of an hour, and Sam has walked for three-tenths of an hour. What is the rate in miles per hour at which the friends walked to the library? So our very first step is we need to write an equation for the distance from the friend's house to the library. And using the fact that distance equals rate times time, we're going to let r equal their walking rate. Knowing how to set up and write our equation is probably going to be the most difficult part, so pay attention here. We know that Bob walked 84 hundredths mile. We know that Sam walked 3 tenths of an hour, and we're looking for the rate. So we're going to do 3 tenths hour multiplied by the rate for Sam. Since we weren't given miles for Sam, only time, we multiply his time by the unknown rate r. So here's Sam's and here's Bob's. Our equation is going to be 84 hundredths plus 3 tenths r is going to equal 7 tenths r. That's how long Bob walked. This is the distance to the library and this is the distance to the library. So now we can remove the decimal points by multiplying each side of the equation by a power of 10. Now here's step two. We have 84 hundredths plus 3 tenths r is equal to 7 tenths r. We know which power of 10 to use by looking at the decimal place values. We have hundredths, tenths, and tenths. We use the power of 10 that will remove all decimal points. If we only multiplied by 10 as our power of 10, we would still have 8 and 4 tenths here. If we multiply by 100, it will then be 84, and it'll be a whole number. So we're going to multiply by 100. We multiply this side of the equal sign by 100 and this side by 100. We get 100 times 84 hundredths is 84, times 3 tenths is going to be 30, and we drop our r down. On this side, we get 70 r. Now we can solve the equation using inverse operations. Okay, here's step three. Using the inverse operations, we can start by subtracting 30 r from both sides of the equal sign. That's going to create a zero pair here. We have a plus 30 r minus 30 r. So that's eliminated. On this side, we have 40r. We drop the 84 down. We have 84 is equal to 40r. Now, since this is 40 times some unknown rate r, 
the inverse of multiplication is division, so we're going to divide both sides of the equal sign by that coefficient 40. 40 divided by 40 is 1, so we have 1r here. And 84 divided by 40 is 2 and 1 tenth. We know 2.1 is equal to r. The rate is 2 and 1 tenth miles per hour that Bob and Sam walk to the library. This is their constant rate of speed. Now in step 2, we distributed the 100 to both of these terms and to this term. We can multiply each term by a power of 10 instead of distributing it to each term. We can do 84 hundredths times 100, 3 tenths times 100, and 100 times 7 tenths. And we will still get 84 plus 30r equals 70r. We'll still subtract 30r from both sides and get 84 is equal to 40r. We'll still divide both sides by the coefficient 40. We'll still get 2 and 1 tenths is equal to r. We get the same answer as when we distributed the 100. Now, keep in mind, we can also multiply both sides of the equation by a power of 10 greater than 100. We know this is in the hundredths place, and before we multiplied by 100 to make this a whole number, if we wanted to, we could multiply each term by 1,000. Instead of 84 as our whole number, we would get 840. We'd have an additional zero. And it would be plus 300r is equal to 700r. We would still isolate r to one side of the equation, and we would still get that 2 and 1 tenths is equal to r. We'll get the same answer, but the values of the numbers are greater. It is more efficient to use the least power of 10 necessary. We'll deal with smaller values if we just multiplied by 100 or the power of 10 that is needed to make each one, bare minimum, a whole number. We're finished with 7.2b. We're moving on to the last part, c, writing a real-world situation from an equation. Keep trying your best. I'm proud of you. Let's get to the last part of the lesson, 7.2c, and you have a great day. Bye.